I'm going to say something that you may consider controversial, but it's a truth. What I'm about to say are two words. I'm possessed. Of course, if you're my husband, he'll be thinking, duh, I knew that. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I listened to a sermon this weekend and it really touched me because he talked about possession. And when we think about possession, we always think about the devil. The devil's possessed her. But then he said, there's only two spirits, the spirit of Satan, Satan, right? Or God. And he said, are you possessed by the Holy Spirit? Does he own you? Have you surrendered your life to the Holy Spirit? And I thought, yes, I'm possessed. I'm possessed. At least I hope to be, and I ask the Lord to be, and I say, I want to do whatever you would have me do. I want my will to be perfectly in line with your will. I want to be fully possessed by you. I want everything that comes out of my mouth to be what you would have come out of my mouth. I want every action I do to be every action you would have me do. I would not mind, Lord, being your puppet. Come inside of me, fill me up, take every part of me away. I mean, you know, as, oh, goodness gracious, was that St. John the Baptist? Less of me and more of you. You know, that I may decrease and he may increase. So if we are allowing ourselves to be fully possessed by the Holy Spirit, saying, let Jesus increase inside of me. What a more glorious thing could happen with our life than that. I mean, seriously, are you possessed? Do you seek to be possessed? Do you say you love Jesus and yet like, well, I don't want to give you that area. I, I love you and then I want to please you, but just don't make me do A, B, and C. And I'm certainly not judging you, right? Because that, that's been all of us in the past. That was me. But there came a point in my life about seven, eight years ago where I realized I totally surrender to you, God. I just, even if it hurts, I want to do what you would have me do. Even if it's not something I want to do, something that I need courage to do, I want to do what you would have me do. I want you to fill in every pore of my body, not just hold my hand not just lead me, be in me and possess me. It's a short video, it's a short message, but it's very powerful. The priest who I listened to touched me and I pray that this video touches you. If you ask the Lord to possess you, I believe he will. Now that doesn't mean that you might not accidentally take back your rescind your decision I guess every time we sin that's probably a possibility that that will happen but I just know that I seek to be possessed by the Lord each and every day every time I wake up so when I wake up and I encourage you to do the same say Lord please take possession of me take possession of my thoughts my minds my mind and my actions I give myself wholly and completely to you. And then when you go through your day, if you've truly surrendered like that to God, you've done the best you can. You can go to bed at night, put your head on your pillow and say, Lord, I hope I pleased you. I hope I allowed you to take and maintain possession of me. That's it. Short video. Love to hear your comments. Does Jesus possess you? If not, what do you think you're going to do to get him there? I'm Dr. Christine Bacon. I'm honored that you follow me at Breakfast with Bacon here and all the other social media platforms. And I'd like to remind you to live your life. You know how I'm going to end it, right? Sunny side up.